When I was little, someone pointed out to me. <laughs> um, and that's what I wanted to show in these films. I wanted to reflect on times had, times that intimidated me, and put those in contrast with two other memories so it becomes more than just one. Once when I was 21, I hung posters and sprayed in Mauer Park. We had posters, tarp, glue, and suddenly while I was hanging up posters, two memories merged. I got reminded of spray painting when I was 15. This time I was not scared, intimidated, or wanted to imitate the skater boys who were standing next to me. This time, I actually was them. But I was them in an abstraction. I was them, but with the experience of lockdown in the US, of road trips, of spray painting on train tracks instead of next to old swing sets like I did when I was 15. I was them, but added with the experience of being on the road. Of stereo blasting in the morning and seeing the city of Philly wake up. The memory of me, standing and putting posters up, unafraid, to drive off into the sunset merged with the memory of how scared I was when I was 15. Sometimes memories emerge. It happens with sex, with distinct places, places so saturated with memory and nostalgia that they become one. I think it means you never forget a memory for the other. It means whenever you lose a memory of a time before and a time in the immediate past, it is still a part of the present. Memory becomes part of the past long before, the immediate past and the present all at once. It is not like the feeling of a long summer where memories just flow into each other. The feeling of one summer becoming a sticky thing with card games and alcohol. Or one long depressing winter plagued with memories of drinking scotch and playing drinking games in college dorms. No, this act is more than this normal interflow and forgetting of time. It's elevating, politicizing memory. With my film, I want to show how symbols repeat themselves over and over again in my life. The key is to use these symbols on purpose. When I was 18, I used to be in groups of people who were yearning for physical altercations, violence, with all the good and bad this entails. Many people in the punk scene know this, and the violence and intimidation mostly is on levels that are comfortable. But other experiences walk the line between comfortable and uncomfortable. One time, when I was 18, I was walking around a strange outskirt district of Berlin, only torn down buildings around me. I never knew the way home. A left-wing skinhead next to me told me that if he met any neo-Nazis in this rubble of the houses, he would decimate them, and they us. He told us this to weed out the scared, the intimidated, to assert power. I knew this, that he said these things to assert power. But I always braced myself anyways. Now I make new memories, walking down those same abandoned outskirts, but blasting loud music. One memory of fear replaces another. I do this to remind myself I still have power over wanting to instigate violence. Another time when I replaced one of my 18-year-old memories with a new one was my first experience with duct tape. I went to a three-day festival with no money, no credit card, no sleeping bag, no phone, and we played a game called Beer Ball. Uh, instead of holding hands to hop, people attached me to another person using duct tape strong, A-grade, indestructible duct tape. They put this around our hands and feet, and every time you fell, it hurt like hell. Um, and when you fell in the glass shards, you had to pick yourself up. A few years later, on a birthday, I encountered restrictions of tape again. In that moment, my experience of pain and duct tape from a year ago merged with another experience. Me and two of my best friends were lying on the floor laughing, and uh, my friend, in a gesture of gentle violence, packed us up with tape. It was like being given a choice of restrictions. Um, in my head, the two experiences became one, 
and the tape that hurt so much time before hurt just a little now. I made out of one idea of restriction, two experiences of restriction.